Hey guys, brand number 15 here. Today I'm going to be telling you guys an extremely scary story that happened to me about a year or so ago. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright. This happened about a year or so ago. I was at my friend's house. I was having yeah, I was having a sleepover at my friend's house and we were playing Call of Duty in his room when suddenly his parents came in and told us that we needed to go to sleep. Like all parents, they didn't like us staying up too late. So we so of course we pretended to go to bed go to bed and like all and like every and like basically everyone every kid on the planet we got we got up again and, and continued playing. We 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 got hungry and we didn't really feel like making anything, so we decided to order pizza from the all night pizza place a set a few blocks down. Fast fast forward about a, a half hour after we after we finished after, after we finished our order, we were in his room playing a different game besides Call of Duty. I forget what it was, but I think it was Mario Kart. Or something like that. Anyway anyway, Suddenly, we, we we suddenly we heard the doorbell ring. I went downstairs to see. I went downstairs to see if it was the pizza guy. His door doesn't have a pe he pulls, so I just peeked out of the window of a window that he had near his his front door. There I saw a tall man, like six foot something. But the strange thing was, he wasn't holding a pizza. However, he wa was holding a knife. Just then, his his head, head turned to me in a swift motion. I ducked, I ducked down by, I ducked, I ducked down behind the window, I was, I was breathing heavily, I was so scared, my friend came downstairs and asked me what was wrong, I was too scared to talk, he called me a wuss and looked out the window himself, then he saw the man, but this time the man was much closer, his face was literally pressed up against the window, he screamed and pulled back the curtains and fell to the floor with me. We were, we were so scared. We both the, the man and started pound, started knock started just lightly tapping on the door. The taps turned to knocks and knocks to bangs. The bangs were so loud. But his parents are are deep sleepers, so it didn't wake them up. We we both let up. We both ran upstairs and hit. Well, well, while he was while he was banging, I stopped into the kitchen and grabbed two butcher knives. I gave one to him, so we would have to, so we would have defense. Just then, just then, the knock on the door stopped. Suddenly, the window just smashed open. We both screamed and and, and ran for it up the stairs. I grab I grabbed my phone, phone, and we hid in the closet. I dialed 911 and explained to them the situation. The operator said that they would send a unit over there as soon as possible. Just then I heard footsteps approaching. Just then I heard footsteps approaching. Then I heard, heard the man stepping up the stairs and finally to the second floor where we were hiding. I was so scared. It was the most intense moment of my life. I heard him... I heard him checking. I heard him checking in every single hiding spot until it came to my friend's room. It was very quiet, of course, when checking his our parent his parents' room. Anyway, yeah, he came to our room and opened the door. Then I smacked myself in the head. Why didn't we lock that door? We were in too much of a hurry to think about something like that. Just then, the door smashed open, and the man walked in. I heard him. I heard him fumbling around in the room, probably checking hiding places like under the bed or so. Just then, the closet door opened, and the man and came. I, we both screamed as loud as we ever did. The man pulled out his knife and raised it high in the air. But then, I heard the music to my ears. Police sirens in the distance. The man growled, opened the window, opened the window, and jumped out. But before he did, he turned he turned his head to us and gave us the most the scariest stare I have ever seen. Then he hopped out, out the window and made a run for it. When the police came, when the police came, he explained 
the situation to him. Obviously, obviously we woke up his his parents and and the, and then and then they explained to them that they were sleeping and that that a robber had broken in. We were so scared. Now the man's pro. Now, now this was now like I said earlier, this was about a year ago. Oh, so I'm not too concerned about it now. But but that man, the stare, it still haunts me. And even though this was a whole year ago, the whole experiment and. The whole experience has, has scarred me for life. And that is by far the scariest experience I have ever gone through.